Well, Ed Thomas of Wyco will be retiring soon after a long, successful run at the West Indian Company on St. Thomas. News Channel 8's Lee Carl catches up with him. Ed Thomas is always here for lovely news cruise ships. And we went from big to small. I don't know how that works, Ed, but all of a sudden we're on a smaller ship because everything we've done prior to this has been big, big, big. Right, right. There are basically two markets in the cruise industry. There's what we call the mass market, which is where you have the big ships, and of course we're glad to have Oasis and Carnival Dream and so forth. But you remember the glory days, um, Lee, as the, as the poor director was saying, where there were all these premium ships that used to come to St. Thomas, the Sea Goddess and all of those. And for some reason... How about the Stella Polaris? The Stella Polaris. Never exactly, right? Really the really Kong's really Hollow and all yeah, those yeah, ships. Yeah. And for some reason... Bernard Adventure. Exactly. Yeah. Now those ships are starting to come back. You know, we now have the exclusive lines of Silver Seas, which is what we have today. We also have uh, the Seven Seas lines. Uh, later next month, you will see the Seven Seas Mariner and the Seven Seas Voyager. These are ships that are bringing, again, the upscale people that we want back into the territory. Uh, that, like I said to the captain, you've got 280 people on board. And he said to me, they're all very, very wealthy people. So this, this boat's good for us as a destination. So we have to be able to balance the mass market at the same time the upscale market of course of course well a lot of talk about uh, you you the stepping aside on the management of uh, um, Haven site. Well, I'm and stepping aside from President of West Indian Company, period. Oh, is that it? Yes, oh, okay. December 31st, 2010, okay. I'll be retired. Mark that on your calendars, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll invite you to my retirement okay. party. I, yeah. I'm not going to ask you what, what the plans are, but uh, maybe later I'll Later. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. But tell me something, this, this agreement, have you come to an agreement now? Because uh, there seemed to be a little acrimony in, in some of the statements that were made regarding that about closing off gates and like uh, clarify that. Sure. Lee, we sat down, Mr. Liger and his uh, vice chair, uh, myself and my vice chair, Alan Monsanto, sat on February 10th at the direction of the governor. Uh, the, the governor said this property has always been one property has been managed very well and we are very proud of that. The fact that we have managed it very well from the time it was acquired in 1993. There are always differences in an agreement, but reasonable people Lee, should be able to sit down and come up with reasonable answers and solutions. And so we sat with Mr. Liger on the tent and we decided that we would go forward with a new agreement. And you know, they want to put something in writing and then we'll take a look at it and we go back and forth. I mean, the, the current agreement expires June 30th, 2010. We've got months to negotiate an agreement. What troubled me a little bit, and I read today's newspaper, well, there seems to be some disagreement even within the GRS Board of Trustees. And again, I'm just going by what I read in the local newspaper. And that needs to be corrected. They need to come to an agreement among themselves, as far as I'm concerned, as to what they want to do. And then you can come back to the table and have a meaningful agreement. But if on their side they are arguing back and forth as to what's the right thing, the wrong thing to do, it's going to be difficult to, to put a proposal together for anybody, whether it's me or whomever. So the first thing I'd like to see, and I, I, I'm vested in the, in, the, in the GRS, so the first thing I would like to see their people get together, have one position, and then come back to us. My board has already given me my guidelines, so I know where I am going in terms of the West Indian Company. I hope they can do the same thing, and then hopefully by March or April we can sit down and hammer out an agreement that we can all go forward with five, ten years. Didn't somebody say, uh, what was that old phrase, if it's... Uh does it, don't fix it, don't break right. it. Right, if it's not broken, don't, don't fix, fix it. it right. Yeah, well, you know, there were some other issues that developed there that we wouldn't go into today. But you're absolutely correct. And I like Jean Griot's statement today in the newspaper, again, quoting from the newspaper, when he said, it's worked since 1993. Why change it? Yes. Circumstances have changed since 993. And times have changed. Times have changed. Right. So you must adjust an agreement. Right. Thanks, Lee Carl, and happy retirement for Ed Thomas. And now, it's Friday. Time for your entertainment report. Here's Bogo Stevens. Thank you very much, Jerome. Good evening to everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Entertainment Report. First and foremost, the Dominican Republic Independence Celebration Committee would like to thank each and everyone who made their parade very, very special and very, very interesting. I enjoy myself and I'm sure everyone else who went there also enjoy themselves and they're looking forward towards doing it again next year and then we're going to move on to say that we are celebrating social workers month so we want to say a special congratulations to all the social workers out there in the entire virgin islands and the good job that you are doing 
And also remember, this month we are celebrating Colon Cancer Awareness. That's right, the American Cancer Society is celebrating Colon Cancer Awareness. And also they want to let you know, on the 10th of March, at um, the Wang Lui Hospital Cafeteria, there are going to be team development meetings as we are gearing up for the Relay for Life in March, in May of this year. So don't forget to go on out to this meeting at the Wang Lui Hospital. And then we want to tell you about this Saturday at the Villa Lorraine parking lot from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, Big Advice Promotion, WSBI TV Channel 8, 103.5, The Reef, More Life Entertainment. We are putting together a fundraiser for the lady Beverly Andrews who lost all of her personal belongings, her entire house in a fire. So far, we'll be having perform performances by the Black Star Band, um, DJ Music by Cool and Deadly Sounds, The Camp, 103.5 The Reef DJs, and also UMB Soldiers, and Mother Nile, and much, much more. So please come on out to the Villa Lorraine parking lot right across the McDonald's for this worthy cause. Let's reach on out and help this individual. And then also Saturday evening, it's Governor's Old School Birthday Bash. You have been hearing about this event, and it's here now. Performing, of course, the DJs, we're going to have, we're going to have DJ Poppy Pops and the entire camp. We're going to have Dog Art International, the original Dog Art, with Bob Z and Andy Love. So you got to check that out. And we're putting in a little youth in the mix. Of course, we're going to have the Madras Terracy, and admission is just $20. Doors open at 10 p.m. And the governor wants to let you know that there will be no loitering in the parking lot, none whatsoever. Security will remove you if you come to the come to the parking lot to just hang out. You come, you park your vehicle, and you go upstairs and you have fun. All right, so definitely check that one out. And then we want to tell you about next week, Saturday. That's right. That's the 13th of March, 2010. It's a fun appreciation and family fun day. Of course, we're gonna have free music by DJ Big Cat, The Camp, All Stars Band, DJ Dragon, Super Trucks. Dave Martinez of 103.5, DJ Carl with Selector Kof, the UMB Soldiers, and the Styly Band, the Fusion Band, and of course, Above Our Limits. And don't forget, this event takes place in Mombiju, right by the stoplight in the open field. So definitely, you got to go and check it out. And also, you can't forget, this Sunday and every Sunday, all roads lead to Galloway's upstairs. As the three DJs that used to DJ in the west side at the Samba, they bring the line to the east side now. And so far, it has been successful. Nice, clean fun. We're talking about DJ Porter, DJ Chubby, and DJ Carl with Selector Cook. So you definitely got to go on out this Sunday. And it is just free up until 12 o'clock, and then you pay $5 after. So please go on out and have some fun. So I want to thank you for joining me here on the Entertainment Report. Remember, whatever you do, try to do it peacefully. If you go on out to have some fun and you drink, please don't drive. Back to you, Jerome. Thanks, Bogle. And when we come back from this break, we'll take a look at your Sports 411 update.